Best known for the iconic terracotta warriors, the mausoleum of China's first emperor, Qin Shi Huang, is filled with preserved timbers, providing a perfect opportunity to explore the sophisticated resource mobilization of the Qin dynasty. For the first time, researchers have now systematically examined wood from the mausoleum, microscopically analyzing 657 charred timber samples from various structures. They found that the vast majority of the wood came from coniferous fir, spruce, hemlock, and cypress trees, all of which were associated with nobility in ancient Chinese texts. Conifers grow in mountainous areas with high elevation, so it would have required significant logistical planning and supply networks to use their wood so extensively. This was no problem for the Qin, though, as even before Chinese unification, they had an efficient system to mobilize resources for their frequent military campaigns. Most interesting, the types of wood used in the mausoleum changed over time. Whilst earlier structures were largely made from cypress wood, later ones were predominantly dark conifers, fir, spruce, and hemlock. Cypress grows at lower elevations than dark conifers, so it's possible that after years of cypress exploitation, lower altitude trees could no longer meet supply requirements, forcing a shift to increasingly distant and higher elevation sources. Overall, these findings indicate that even over 2,000 years ago, high-intensity wood exploitation had a concentrated impact on the ecology of mountainous areas, an impact that may even continue to affect species distributions today. Read the original research in Antiquity Free.